and the orchids from uh, Equa Henera have uh, indeed arrived today. So um, I'm filming with uh, one hand and I'm going to open them with the other because uh, I don't know where I have put my tripod. So sorry for that. We have a heat pack which is tiny, a tiny bit moist. An uh, Equa part. Oh, it was from uh, this one, okay. Here I suppose it's the uh, packing list. A Brasavola King of Taiwan Golden. I really need to check out uh, their uh, messaging because I, I do remember the second one, but I didn't... Uh, I don't remember the first one honestly anyway let's see if they arrived in good condition because uh, they uh, they did say we'll uh, be on the first shipment in January but um, they didn't uh, contact it, uh, me again they are moist uh, okay hopefully they're still alive this is the one seed. Uh, let me open it. Okay, so I believe uh, the orchid was a bit moist from condensation, not because it would have been shipped uh, uh, moist. Uh, so the orchid does have a root system. It's uh, It was uh, packed very well. It's uh, in uh, some small bark chips. You can see how. Um, how moist it is it's just because outside it's very very cold so i'm going to put uh, this orchid by the way you oh and i have a new another new growth in here a smaller one i hope you can see it there and another one in here so i have two new growths from this shoot uh it does seem that it has cold damage on honestly because i can see how flimsy the leaves are but um that's not a, a problem honestly as uh, far as uh oh and it has snails oh my god okay let me show you i have a little crawler in here i hope you can see it let me try to focus oh come on it's right here hope you can see it now just in the right of my finger i'm going to kill it but i'm sure it has more uh, anyway uh, as i was saying when you uh, receive orchids uh, in this uh, time of the year when you have cold uh, temperatures you should try to acclimate uh, the orchid so in my uh, case that would mean that uh, for about uh, two days uh, the orchid is going to receive a coolish temperature without any water in my case uh, would be about 13 15 celsius and um, after that I'm going to uh, see what uh, the orchid uh, needs. Of course, uh, the orchids being new are going to get separated from my other orchids and uh, hopefully uh, they will be okay. Even though there is a chance that this particular orchid is going to have frost damage on it, uh, it is not very important for me. This is a rare orchid and uh, um, I appreciate a lot the company because uh, this is a. Uh, mm, I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, so I have uh, ordered uh, five years ago or six maybe an orchid from them which was mislabeled. The mislabeling um, was found out uh, this year or la in December last year, I don't, in, in December uh, 2021. And uh, they were nice enough to send me some replacements because they didn't have any more that orchid on stock. So for me, uh, that would be, that is awesome. 
as a customer care uh, service. And uh, even though some uh, leaves might uh, die or have some sort of damage, uh, I know that the orchids are going to be just fine. I'm going to show to you at uh, the end of my video two orchids that I had in the same condition and they did pull up just fine. Uh, doing the um, adjustment uh, treatment that I uh, have in mind. And the second uh, orchid that I have, and we do have a plant passport from the, um, to get it to the European Union, um, is the Rasoleilo Catlea, or Catlea actually, uh, King of Taiwan Golden. I do need to see this orchid. Uh, it's still green, so that's good. Let's open it up. Mm, now, um, unfortunately, as far as the cattleya goes, this is a um, warm uh, lover. And uh, you can see that I do have indeed quite a lot of uh, damage uh, on the leaves. And uh, that uh, being said, as uh, far as the suitor bulbs go, they are also very, very um, mushy, let's say. So I think that the suitor bulbs uh, got uh, bitten by the frost as well. So um, I um, unfortunately don't think this uh, orchid is going to survive this one as well. Yeah, uh, I'm going to leave these orchids on the floor uh, of my uh, balcony where is the coolest uh, place in my uh, growing uh, space and uh, hopefully something uh, is going to be left out. Uh, honestly, uh, yeah, I really wished uh, for this orchid. And you can see that they did uh, all that they could to send me a good orchid. You can see that I have, I had, sorry, here some new growth, some new roots, sorry. And uh, yeah, that's uh, rather sad, uh, but I'm not going to get uh, rid of these orchids because even if... Uh, the base of the plant is going to be alive, uh, she might uh, push up a new shoot. So I'm going to see, actually I'm going to do a series about uh, these orchids and uh, see what um, I will have uh, left out of them. I am going to show to you now what I did with other two orchids, sorry. Uh, I'm, uh, I do have COVID right now. Uh, let me find them. So I do. I should have a green one around here. I don't see it anyway. I'm going to show to you my little my kai. Where are my orchids? Sorry, guys. I need to check out. Okay, so this orchid, three years ago, she had some frost damage. And uh, after that, she grew these three pseudo bulbs, and uh, this uh, winter it did bloom from here. This is a uh, Catlea green hairy pig. It was uh, affected on one pseudo bulb and uh, one leaf, so uh, not a lot of frost damage. And the uh, BC my Kai was very, very um, uh, sad looking when I have received it. You can see that uh, here at the base it does have some um, uh, stumps, so the leaves were uh, completely frozen, they f fall out, and uh, some roots um, died at that point. But I uh, let the orchid uh, show me what uh, she wanted to do, and uh, it seems that she did push up some uh, little growth at first and then she pushed up a very nice uh, root system and um, the last uh, two growths you can see that uh, they still have the sheets are these ones she didn't uh, bloom for me yet since i have it but you can see that she started to grow big uh, leaves um, again and uh, the this one which was grown in the summer 
had a little tiny tiny sheet so uh, she is preparing uh, to do that so not a lot of uh, um, problems uh, even though they uh, did have the uh, frost damage they did uh, pull out uh, and lived very well so right now guys i am going to find a good environment for uh, them in the balcony i don't have my hopes high for the uh, katlea but who knows maybe she will survive uh, on the maikai i will try to find some picture with the maikai because it's a very good example that orchid looked bad not this bad but uh, it looked bad and uh, she did survive as you can see it's a big no-no when you have frost damage to give the orchids water or to keep them warm you want uh, them to adjust very very slowly because anyway they will be set back a lot and uh, the orchids uh, won't start to grow anything in the nearest uh, future what you want uh, to do is um, for the leaves at first they will be watery as you can see and then uh, the leaves um, are going to fall out and uh, hopefully they won't catch an infection and we are going to see at that point how uh, affected uh, the suit bulbs are going to be on the roots um, they are papery these ones so i don't think uh, it's a uh, they are going to survive but uh, from these two suit bulbs they might push up some new uh, roots at some point maybe in springtime what uh, i want to do right now is pre for the tissue that died to or is going to fully die uh, to fall out nicely and uh, i want them uh, not to catch any infection so uh, i might uh, at some point try to spray them with uh, a fungicide if uh, i will consider necessary also they are going to have a lot a lot of air uh, around them i don't see any pests on this one and uh, no scale so uh, that would be uh, good and uh, on this one i did see that tiny tiny um sorry i am trying to catch it this tiny um snail sorry i do have my um that's not a snail this is a um fertilizer slow release fertilizer so i'm not sure anymore if that was oh, yes it, it's a snail there anyway um i'm going to kill that snail uh, if uh, is uh, still alive and um, i have uh, higher hopes for the oncidium even though the leaves uh, might uh, die as i said and uh, this one at some point i might uh, try to um uh, clean with hydrogen peroxide but after that dry very very well i'm going to see honestly um my opinion it is that uh, some snails won't uh, kill an orchid in a matter of uh, one two three weeks because that's the time that uh, these orchids are going to um, be left as they are so they can slowly uh adjust to the new environment because at this point they don't have any capacity to adapt to a new media to some more changes so slowly we are going to move them towards a normal uh, temperature okay so uh, let me know if uh, you are interested in seeing a series uh, about uh, these orchids and uh, yeah Thank you so much for watching i am uh, going to contact uh, them and uh, see uh, their opinion about uh, the orchids uh, i uh, don't have anything to reproach to them uh, because it's not their fault that uh, it's cold outside and um, I'm not sure. Uh, I might try to get uh, a replacement if this orchid will die, but uh, I want um, I want to place an order uh, on uh, their website anyway, so uh, they won't uh, need to 
ship the orchids for free uh, again because that would be wouldn't be very fair let's say and uh, hopefully i uh, i will try to explain to them what type of country romania is because i don't think they truly uh, understood how cold <laughs> we have uh, the winters in here um yeah, and um, I'm really, really thankful uh, that they at least tried to ship me uh, a replacement orchid. And uh, quite honestly, I do hope that only the leaves are going to die on these orchids and uh, I'm going to have a uh, new suitability in the spring uh, time because uh, I would try to slowly adjust them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye-bye.